The summer rain trends are once again headed downhill as the heat cranks up across Kelo Land next week. Meteorologist Brian Carsons takes a closer look now at the factors to watch. We are facing a mainly dry seven-day forecast across much of southeast Ketherland, the area impacted by the worst ongoing drought. And of course, in the context of a heat wave coming our direction, it will have an impact on the ongoing dry weather challenges this summer. The need for rain is still obvious in the latest drought monitor update. The Sioux Falls area remains under severe drought, a dry pattern that has focused more attention right along the Big Sioux River Valley. In spite of a few nice rains the past couple of weeks, the Big Sioux River has resumed its lower flow level, although not as bad as late July. Rain will be very hard to find as long as this high pressure center is nearby. Think of this high pressure center as the heat core. It suppresses clouds and rain and steers away the moisture belts around the rim of the heat. Notice the position and intensity of the heat ridge pattern that begins to change late next week. As that happens, some tropical moisture should enter parts of the plains, but the exact track and timing details are still lacking. It is worth noting that the chances of rain and cooler temperatures coincide, especially late in the summer, a trend that hopefully will get going in less than a week. For Kettle Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Brian Karstens.